Streaming on Disney Plus today is the teen sports movie Chan Can Dunk, and here's my review. Disney used to frequently release inspirational sports films in theaters to the point of it being an annual tradition. That has gone away, but at least still lives on through their streaming service. Chan Can Dunk has the makings of a fun movie about a teenager growing his basketball skills, but it is seriously affected by the lead character. He remarkably has little to no redeeming qualities, and through most of it one wonders why we're supposed to root for him. Thus it becomes difficult to get invested in the story and its title protagonist's central goal. The main conflict arises from Chang's desire to prove his basketball skills. That's admirable enough, but as we're introduced to more of his personality and his relationships with other characters, the interest in seeing him succeed decreases. Despite the film's best efforts to show his growing relationship with a girl he likes, they don't exhibit much in the way of chemistry with one another. The movie tries hard to make the main antagonist, a classmate and former friend named Matt, into someone we're meant to dislike for his actions. However, the worst thing he does is the usual teenage smack talk, and the challenge Chang makes to him comes across as ridiculous and petty. The movie shows a bit more sign of life when Chang seeks the help of a basketball player. Dexter Darden makes him an entertaining presence and livens the film up whenever he appears on screen. The training montages are well done, and as Chang's skills improve, one starts to get a bit more invested in seeing if he will accomplish the dunk he won so much. That completely falls apart when he does something terrible at the end of the second act. At that moment, all sympathy disappears entirely. The film tries very hard to give him flaws, but the problem is it goes way too far, and the viewer is left with no compelling reason to like him at all. The rest of the film is a slow, agonizing wait for the inevitable to happen, while also agreeing with several other characters who call him out for his obnoxious and deceitful behavior. Chang does one horrible thing after another, and what we're left with is a detestable character, with one mostly feeling bad for his mother. The filmmakers could have possibly gone away with his less likable traits if he was charming and funny. However, he never is. He's a surprising protagonist to have in what's meant to be an inspirational sports film aimed at a family audience. Chang Can Dunk is not a bad movie on a filmmaking level, as Jing Yi Xiao does an okay job of his direction. The entire film mostly falls apart because the main character is completely unlikable. One can see the filmmakers were trying to present a flawed protagonist, but the decisions he makes are baffling and often nerve-wracking to watch. There's a problem when you end up more on the side of the central antagonist. There's a part where he looks confused at Chang proposing this dunking challenge, and one shares in his befuddlement. The premise could have worked as a fun high school comedy, but not when the viewer is actively rooting against the main character.